this is John Bolger with Premier Guitar. Today we're doing a review demo of the Ibanez Analog Delay uh, Mini. Um, this one's great grandfather, uh, the original Ibanez, you know, paint delay I had back in the day is my first delay pedal. I loved it. Um, and, and really tone wise, I don't know, it's granted memory is whatever it is, but it doesn't seem to sound that much different than my old one. This is a very cool pedal. I'll tell you all, all about it after I tell you about how I'm recording it. Um, I'm playing my Forest Telecaster and I'm just plugging directly into it. Um, and it's, we're powering this with a Voodoo Labs pedal power. And that's running into a, uh, a Fender Supersonic amp. And we'll be in the clean and dirty channel. And uh, this is what it sounds like. There's clean, that's dirty. Miking that with a Royer R121 mic going into an Apache Quartet and into Pro Tools. So basically, tele, pedal, amp. So this all analog delay gives you everything from 20 milliseconds all the way up to 600 milliseconds, which might be more than the original, I can't remember. Um, and the, uh, the basic controls are as simple as you get. Um, right here, the big one is the delay time, and it's good that that's big, because that's what you're going to adjust the most. Over here is blend, and over here is repeats. Uh, so it's pretty simple. And because it's analog, you get those crazy space noises when you, you know, when you turn them, manipulate them while you're playing. So why don't I just uh, play a little bit, and you can hear what it does. So when we came in, I was going for that old school slapback thing. And the way you get that is turning your repeats down to like nothing and going about as low as you can on the output and then season with the blend. What I like to do is have the blend kind of up high when I'm dialing it in and then bring it back as I dial in. So right there with it all the way down and the blend way up, you can get almost a reverby thing. Really crazy, right? So that's just setting it low with lots of repeats. And, but the, the thing you have to watch is this repeat can really get away from you. Anyway, that's a cool setting. And of course, when you get to the, you know, the more slap back, you turn the repeats down, blend up a little bit and add some overdrive. It's got that almost like double tracked, you know, 70s sound. <laughs> time up a little bit. That is pretty epic. Um, and it's, you know, it's cool dry as well. Or clean as well. but tends to work better with the drive. Also worth mentioning that this tiny thing is true bypass, which I don't believe the originals were. And look at how just adorably tiny it is. I mean, you could have this. It's like you could put that in your back pocket. You can, you can, it fits in any guitar case. Very cool. So we're all analog here. So tap tempo apparently isn't an option, but if you really listen, you can kind of dial in whatever you want, even something like a dotted thing. Let me see if I got this.
you really have to listen. And if your timing gets off, then you hear several of your times of your being off. So you really have to lock in. And it's a challenge, you know, just dialing it in by ear, but you know, it can be done. So in summary, the new Mini, to me, sonically has everything the original had going on and true bypass. And it's adorably tiny. It could fit on any pedal board. So to read the full written review, go to premierguitar.com. While you're online, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and check out the new podcast. Till next time. <laughs>